Welcome to r slash ask reddit where users answer the question who was the dumbest person you ever met? How did you know? Girl in my class asked the professor if other countries have moons too. My best friend asked me this when I moved to Europe. She asked me if I could see the moon there or if it only existed for the USA. When I moved from Europe to the US I was asked do you guys have television? This was in 2005. I had a guy at work tell me that Benjamin Franklin was the 100th president because he's on the $100 bill. She thought I was trying to trick her into believing that Adolf Hitler was real. I have legit encountered someone who claimed that NASA is fake. Not just the moon landing conspiracy stuff, but the entire organization. The buildings, the people, the rockets, everything is just CGI. And you can tell it is CGI because everything got so much better and improved as CGI grew closer to perfection in our current day. Someone in my work expressed shock once at my postcard of Niagara Falls because she didn't believe it was a real place. I thought that was just for films. I always thought it was a made up place, you know, like the Grand Canyon. I know a guy who thinks the special tea he drinks negates the negative health effects of his pack a day smoking habit. I went to school with a girl that legitimately thought 9-11 was done by German Nazis. Pretty sure that was 9-11. I know a guy who vaped mercury on a dare. Just to be clear everyone, mercury is poisonous. Do not vape mercury. You could die as in actually in the ground dead. We hired a girl a couple years ago. I told her where the manager's office was her first day. Second day, she asked me where the manager's office was so I walked her to the door. Third day, she asked me where it is again. Our manager chewed out the girl who trained our new recruit for not teaching the job properly. The trainer pulled out her phone and showed the manager a picture of the girl wearing the uniform backwards and said, look at this, this is untrainable. New girl got fired about three weeks later for stealing the product because she thought she got it for free because she was an employee. Edit, some of you are kind enough to give her the benefit of the doubt about not finding the office. Unfortunately, this office was located on the second floor which consisted of a hallway with a single door and nothing else. It wasn't possible to get lost. This reminds me of a girl I like to remember as Mugen. She would just glaze over and leave her body when you delivered the most basic instructions. It was not a hard job. She hugged me when I fired her two weeks later. Man, I went to school with a girl like that. Lights were on, but nobody was home. I thought people exaggerated just how dumb she could be. Then one day, she walks into the room I'm working in. We are the only people in there. I'm working on rebuilding an arcade cabinet. She asks what I'm working on. I explain it. She seems like she understands and then says, So, like, for in a pool, right? I didn't quite hear her, I thought, so I said, yeah, they probably have some in a pool hall, but this one's going in my basement. She says, no, like, it's for in a pool, right? A swimming pool? Yeah, like, underwater. Uh, no, not usually. <laughs> she then pressed all the buttons, made beep boop sounds, then wandered back out. Pretty sure she now lives in a penthouse apartment in another country, paid for by her dad. OMG, we had one of those. Her eyes would go black like a demon when you told her any type of instruction. And then, right before you were done with your sentence, she'd interrupt to finish your sentence incorrectly. So, when you polish the glasses, make sure to store them in the cooler. Got it. No, you put them in the glass rack. Right, that's what I said. The urge to strangle has never been so real. I remember proofreading a paper for a freshman my roommate had the hots for. It was on Jonathan Swift's A Modest Proposal, but somehow that freshman didn't catch that it was satire. The opening lines of the paper are burned into my memory. Eating children would not be a good thing to do. In fact, we could say it would be bad. I used to work with the nicest person I've ever met, but he was also the dumbest. Even though he had been there over a year, he couldn't do anything besides washing dishes without someone watching over him. 
He just could not figure out how to do anything on his own. Someone, usually me, would have to watch over every little thing he did to make sure he was doing it right. It would have been frustrating if he wasn't the nicest dang person on earth. He was always so happy to see you and did everything with a smile on his face. Luckily, he could wash dishes like a freaking beast. I'm not exaggerating when I say he could wash dishes faster and cleaner than anyone I have ever met. That's the reason he would do other stuff is because he washed dishes so dang fast we'd have to find other stuff for him to do. His wife was normal and all his kids were doctors or engineers. They were all crazy smart. What was kind of sad is that he knew he wasn't the smartest but he was so dang nice. I had a boss who told me that she never kept leftovers from a meal because that's how polio got started. I was working in a French company. We were working with a dev team in Vietnam on some IT project. The project manager they report to in headquarters is French. They didn't like him and he knew it. The Vietnamese team did some great job. He wanted to find the correct words to congratulate them, hoping to smooth the future relationship. He sent this incredible thank you email. When we see the quality of your work, we can only realize how sad it is that we lost you guys as a colony. The French expats in the Vietnam office told me they were hiding in shame for a full week. Wow, that's like congratulating a black guy and saying what a shame that you can't buy him anymore. A girl in an AP US history class laughed at me when I was talking about driving to Alaska from Oregon. She insisted Alaska was an island because of how it is separated out on a map like this. I don't know if she was the dumbest person I met overall, but it was certainly the dumbest thing someone insisted they were right about. Some girl at my school thought the same, and we asked her why Hawaii was hot and Alaska was cold if they were right next to each other. No kidding, she said that it was because the beaches at Hawaii make it hot. My sister-in-law is an anti-vaxxer and believes her kid's cerebral palsy was caused by vaccines, despite the kid being born with one-fourth of her brain physically missing. That girl is lucky. She could have been born missing her whole brain like her mother. I asked a temp at work to weigh a couple of lever arch files for postage. She came back and told me that they were 65 kilograms. I asked if it were possible that it was 6.5 kilograms, but she insisted it wasn't. We argued about it for a good five minutes. It wasn't until I asked her how much she weighed, 59 kilograms, that it finally twigged that these two small folders couldn't possibly weigh more than her. A girl in my class in middle school genuinely thought people had landed on the sun. Her explanation for this belief was to insist that the moon and sun are made of the same stuff. A guy at a job site said this to me in all seriousness. I am quoting, if Hitler had put all the Jews on the Titanic, he could have saved himself a lot of trouble. I felt like I had a stroke. Also, saved himself a lot of trouble is a scary mundane way to describe genocide. A friend that told me that drinking protein shakes means that my muscles are all fake and fat. I live in southern Spain. I once met a girl from the US who was here on some kind of exchange program. When I asked her how did she like Spain so far, she said, I'm loving it. I just don't know why the plane took so long to get here. I mean, we are just a bit below Mexico. I don't know why the flight was so long. Then I told her that we were in Europe and she didn't believe me. Her reply was, Europe? It can't be. Everyone speaks Spanish, so we must be somewhere near Mexico for sure. She was in university. I still don't know how or why. Lol, how the freak do you join an international exchange program without even knowing where you're going on the freaking map? Some people glide through life with a guardian angel preventing them from walking into traffic or something. Totally. I remember another time when in a conversation she said, It was a blessing in the skies. I then told her, Don't you mean blessing in disguise? She got visibly upset and told me that she was pretty sure that the saying was, A blessing in the skies. And that since English was her mother tongue, she must know better. Sigh. Oh man, a blessing in the skies reminds me of a story I heard recently. A friend of mine once said something along the lines of tzit tzon, thinking she was quoting a Greek or Latin saying. Someone finally asked, are you trying to say to each his own? 
A girl in my sophomore year of high school who thought there were six months in a year. She was really nice, but very surprised and confused when we tried to set her right. How did she get to high school without someone setting her straight? Well, you see, she got there in half the time. He had just purchased a new high-powered BB gun. We had just finished shooting it in the backyard when he points the barrel at my face and pulls the trigger several times. I tell him to stop being an idiot and he just laughs and says, it's not loaded. Then the moron puts the barrel in his mouth and Pop shoots a BB right through his tongue and into his uvula. Edit, for those asking why it shot him and not me, I was sitting down so the end of the barrel was at a downward angle. When Genius shot himself, the barrel was at an upward angle causing the last BB to roll down the back of the ammo tube and into the chamber. A girl in my art class in high school thought there was just a part of the cow called meat. When we explained meat is the muscles, she freaked out and became vegetarian. My best friends had a foods teacher who thought the same thing. Summarily, you had to cook the outside of the meat because that's where the germs, specifically E. coli, were. Edit, this is true, please keep reading. When my friend commented that parasites could be also present in the muscle tissue, the teacher claimed, we don't eat muscle tissue. Too dumbfounded to ask a counter question, we will forever wonder what she thought we ate was working at a grocery store over a decade ago. I wouldn't call the kid dumb because he just didn't know. It's more of a funny thing. He was new and the manager asked him to face the store when he asked what he could do. Facing means you make sure the aisles look nice and neat and that the product is pulled forward and visibly facing you as you walk down the aisle. <laughs> the kid couldn't be found until someone told the manager one of the workers was just standing in the parking lot facing the store. I will never forget that. Put him, <laughs> put him in charge of the orange juice concentrate just to watch his face turn purple from the effort. One time, my now ex-girlfriend was watching Maury Povich. One of those paternity test episodes with the classic, you are not the father moment. And she turns to me and says, if we ever have a baby and I found out I'm not the mother, I'll kill you. Thankfully, we didn't end up reproducing. Oh Lord, strap in. This is a ride. Let me tell you about Sarah. Now, Sarah was and remains to be one of the sweetest girls I've ever met. She's the sort of girl who would give you the shirt off her back and not think twice. The sort of woman who would allow a stranger to stay in her home without question. She routinely gives money to charity and helps volunteer. She really is an angel. But Christ is that girl dumb. When we were in high school, I mentioned that I one day wanted a small farmette, something just big enough so I could raise chickens. I've always liked chickens, and you get fresh eggs too. She looked at me like I had three heads and said, If you want eggs, you need goats. The girl had made it our senior year in high school without knowing where eggs came from. Our class was talking about a fellow student who had been diagnosed with a very serious illness. His girlfriend announced that he had realized something was wrong when he began urinating blood. Sarah piped up with, Oh my god, he isn't sick. He just got his period. I've had mine for like four years. <laughs> Sarah and I were once driving her car in the late 90s and her car battery died. We were only a mile away from my house, so I walked there, grabbed my car, and headed back. I parked and lifted her hood. She asked what I was doing. I told her I was going to connect the jumpers because her battery had died. The girl looked right at me and said, My car runs on gas, not batteries. She legitimately had no idea that fish, the food, came from actual living fish. She decided she wasn't going to eat meat anymore. She would text me at all hours asking if the food she was about to eat was meat or not. I literally had to coach this woman, we were well out of high school at this point, on what meat products came from what animals. She still doesn't believe that tofu isn't from an animal. She thought France was in Canada. She thought all of South America was like North America and one single country. 
She didn't believe that there was a North and South Pole. She asked me how planes ever got where they were going when the Earth was spinning so fast and then followed up with, Oh, I get it. They just go up and sit still until the place comes to them, right? She thought hippos were made up like unicorns. My ex-sister-in-law is hands down the dumbest person I've ever encountered. There's literally a plethora of freaking insanely stupid things she said over the years. But I'll use the one that almost made me slap the taste out of her mouth. I had my first son back in 2001 and while I was pregnant she asked me if I was going to breastfeed. To which I replied that I was. She then asked, even if it's a girl? And I said, of course. She then proceeded to tell me that it's perfectly fine to breastfeed boys, but doing so with girls is creepy and could make the child a lesbian. Because they get the feel of a breast and will remember it and want that sexually. To say that I was stunned by her thought process is an understatement. I asked her what she thought people did before formula was invented and she said, cow's milk. And before bottles were invented it was a rag soaked in cow's milk. Side note, she had three daughters and wouldn't allow her husband to change their diapers or bathe them. If she has girls, doesn't that mean that only the man should handle them naked lest they get used to a woman's touch and les out later in life? You would think so, right? And I asked her that and she said no because the maternal instinct cancels out any sexual desire. I was working retail at the time and this lady walks in and asks me to tell her when it is a quarter after 10 a.m. She needs to catch a bus. We were slow so I obliged. 10.15 rolls around and I tell her so she drops her stuff and runs out to get the bus. Five minutes later she comes back in scowling and she then lectures me on how to tell time. How much is a quarter? 25 cents. So why would you tell me a quarter after 10 a.m. is 10.15 a.m.? It's 10.25 a.m. My coworker was feeling lethargic, bloated, and had stopped menstruating. We told her she was probably pregnant. She decided on her own that she was anemic and started eating a dozen raw eggs every day. She had a full term baby five months later. A dozen raw eggs? Did she give birth to Gaston? A coworker of mine sent an email to our company's global mailing list. Our company has 5,000 employees. The email contained a one gigabyte attachment. It shut down the entire company for a day. A girl at my high school didn't know you could get pregnant from literally the only substance that can make you pregnant. So she learned that when she got pregnant? Please tell me she didn't. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. That was r slash ask reddit and let me ask my viewers, who was the dumbest person you ever met?